Mr. Navarro, forgive my intrusion. I needed to see you and see you today. Mr. Navarro, Mr. Navarro, I have arrived at a stunning conclusion. And I feared I would lose that resolve if I didn't come here directly to see. I've decided to marry you. I've decided to marry you. I've decided though Henry's gone that life goes on for me. I have thoroughly thought it through. And the man that I want is you. Though it's true there are quite a few who strongly disagree. Nonetheless, I will marry you. I confess that I'm frightened too. But unless I am wrong, you long for love as much as I. This is quite unconventional, I'll admit. But why should that matter a whit? And if you do not say yes at once, I think I'll die. Miss Dyscrief, you've rendered me speechless. May I call you Phoebe? What am I doing here? This could be dangerous if I'm discovered. Imagine the scandal and I couldn't handle a scandal so risible. I'll stay invisible, still as can be. But what's going on in there? I can hear voices. I recognize Monty, but is that a woman? And if that's a woman, then what is she doing here? Is it the cousin I wish I could see? If it's that cousin, it might just be business. It's family business and none of my business. But why is she here in the home of a bachelor? Of of course, one could point out that I'm here as well. But does she not realize this situation puts her reputation severely in question? The merest suggestion could cause a sensation, and I cannot hear which is hell. I'll be warned not to marry you. Go home. I'll be scorned if I marry I you. Should go Still, home. I decided to, to live, live my life and be a wife for me. Who believe how my life is turned? Be After grieving, I quickly but learned that is nothing can bend the will like half a steel. And there's goodness to spare in you. this fun? And a gentleness there in you. Isn't she done? We've taken a wounded bird and taught her how to fly. And if this is my life, this is quite unconventional, is it, it not? not? Rather a turn in the plot, and so will I be your fiancé. Why don't you send the cow away? Phoebe, darling. When, when I recall this day, I think I'll cry. Oh, what was that? What was what? That sound. Is there someone here? Oh, uh, pay no attention. That's my new manservant. He's just... Finding his way around. I'll be with you in a moment. Wadsworth! Isn't this madness? Who could foresee how one trick of timing could ruin it all? One in the parlor, one in the bedroom, nothing between them but me and a wall. Look at Phoebe, noble and pious, my esteem for her only grows. But when I am with Phoebe, I am on fire, thinking of Sibella, full of desire, passion, and dare I say it, love. But when I'm with Sibella, whom do I admire? None but Phoebe, perfect and lovely, who couldn't love her, heaven knows. Round and round and round it goes. How happy I'd be to be at your disposal, my darling, of course I accept your proposal. Now we should kiss. That would be bliss. Darling, but first I'll say this, I've decided to marry you. Phoebe, I've decided to marry you. To the trumpet I hold. Phoebe, 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 fall and set me free. And again there's a bell, Gracious bestowment, yes, Wadsworth, I told you, I'll be just a moment! Now, Monty, dear, I think I now should go. Oh. But I still want to marry you. Even so. I decided to marry you. Just go. How I'm longing to marry you. Yes, I'm delighted to marry you, marry you, marry you. She must go. go.